Patrick hopped into the book of Ezra. Remember how in the last chapter in the book of Chronicles, God's people were in slavery? Now they were no longer slaves and had come back into their promised land. Ezra the priest was one of the leaders that had brought them back. Why had he yanked out his beard? He was sad because after all God had done for them, God's people were worshiping statues and not following God's plan. Ezra told the people to listen to God. Good news! By the end of the book, the people told God they were sorry. They listened to Ezra. In this next book called Nehemiah, Patrick almost got kicked by a cheerleader named Nehemiah. God's people have returned to Jerusalem and rebuilt their homes, but ignored the broken down walls surrounding their city. Nehemiah cheered the people on to finish building the wall so they would be protected from their enemies. The book called Esther took place during the time when God's people were slaves in the foreign land. The people in this land got tricked by an evil man named Haman. The king followed Haman's advice to sign a law to destroy God's people, but God still had a wonderful plan. He had a young girl named Esther become the queen. Only one problem. Anyone, even the queen that came to the king without being asked, could be killed on the spot. Esther risked her life when she went to the king to ask him not to hurt her. Hooray, the king granted her wish. Patrick now saw a man named Job whose life was a mess. Boils everywhere on his body. Most of his family were dead and he had lost all of his money. Worse yet, he didn't know why. Job complained to God that he didn't deserve such treatment. When God finally spoke, Job realized that he could trust God no matter what. Job knew God was the God of the universe and he could make it all come out right. And he did. In the book of Psalms, King David was praising God. He was happily playing music and joyously singing songs he wrote to God. He just couldn't help himself because God was so good. Patrick was happy too. In the next book called Proverbs, King David told Patrick to learn a thing or two from his wise son, King Solomon. Solomon was handing out Proverbs, which were tasty nuggets of wisdom. Patrick liked them and he licked his lips while watching. In Ecclesiastes, Patrick met King Solomon again. This time he was telling about what he had learned from chasing after money and things. He had choirs that sang to him, fancy foods, and great herds and flocks, but they didn't make him happy. Solomon told Patrick that real happiness comes from knowing God and following his wonderful plan. The Song of Solomon is a kissy book. Again, Patrick saw King Solomon. This time he was talking about his young bride and how he was crazy in love. She felt the same way about him. This was too much information for Patrick. So at the end of chapter 3, Patrick once again thought about what he had learned. God sure does like to encourage his people. Esther was encouraged because the king changed his mind about killing her people. Job was encouraged because God listened to him and healed him. Then Patrick asked himself, how does God encourage me? Well, he answers my prayers and he rewards me for working hard. How about you? I'll bet you can think about some ways that God has encouraged you. See you in chapter four.